Okay, so here we are in Resolume. I'm just going to hit record on my recorder here so I can record the blocks in front of you. So here we are in Resolume. Um, I've got nothing but good things to say about the guys at Resolume, by the way. They've just launched 7. It is very, very intuitive software. And for those of you that are looking at this video tutorial because you've never used uh, video mapping software before, then you're in the right place because Resolume are really freaking good. Uh, yeah, they're great. So very very simple and I'll teach you very quickly now how it's used uh, this pack obviously um, in front of me you can see many many cubes we're just going to map the top one maybe the bottom two as well um, because this pack is designed if, if you look at the screen capture it's designed to work on uh, a cube at this angle specifically you get there's a bit of tolerance left and right and up and down but the further you move away from this exact perspective the worse it's going to look and that's because it looks really fantastic at this angle and uh, it's to do with the view line of the render and how the we're mapping back onto an object in 2d so you're never going to get 3d uh, real-time sort of updates if in, in your eye if that makes sense um, so the, the content's made for this and then it looks good like this uh, that is why I'm making this pack um, it's a series and it's, there's going to be an absolute ton of media coming your way soon this is just the, the sort of a re the starter first simple easiest toolkit to map with if it's your first time and you, you want to get cool good, look, good looks for your event or for me you know just messing around at home so I'm really quickly going to reset all this uh, new uh, and okay start from scratch so I've brought all my media in and I've put it I've duplicated it across the three layers just because I want to show you guys something uh, on each layer diff that's different and I've also brought in the UVW template which has got these handy little pointers so you know you can reference our okay, so that that corner must go here etc so let's real quickly map this so I'm going to go to my my screen one which is the what's the first screen that I want to output and I know that my projector is on uh, display 4 so we'll go out to display 4 and now you can see on the cube in front of me we're outputting something um, obviously this is huge so yeah screen 4 my projector doesn't put out 4k it puts out 1920 by 1080 so that's why this is doing this so I'm just going to tell it look I know I've got HD but uh, I know I've got 4k but just you know calm down uh, yeah, there we go much better so we're going to put output HD right so input selection window we, this is what are we taking what crop of this image do we want to take whether it's a shape or whether it's you know whatever we want and then what and then the output window is where are we going to put it in real real life so in this little picture in picture that's recorded on my phone of the cubes that's where we're putting it so we'll start with the red cube and we just dial these in so it's exact okay so we've got the red cube in here and I'm just going to call it the red face sorry I'm just going to call it red and then we're going to go to output where do we want to put this this square if you will and we want to select edit points and we're going to map it to the cube now if we look here we can reference where does F go F is the very top E is the, the left side so we can go alright F now I'm looking in front of me at the cubes F goes here roughly E goes here roughly it's very quick and easy and then obviously G uh, goes there I should really have turned the lights off in my studio to make this easier to see because looking at projections is quite difficult in the light studio who am I kidding I'm obviously in a garage but you know there we are one day this time next year I'll be millionaire okay so that's mapped quite crudely but it is mapped so I'm just going to dial it in a wee bit better and yeah this I mean this software is great zoom in now and everything it, as of I think it was five actually and they came out with Resolume 7 already those boys have been busy now I'm not going to go massively in depth on the mapping tutorial because uh, there's a guy called Doc Optic who makes great tutorials for Resolume for this to, uh, Resolume have their own uh, there, were, there were millions of YouTube videos. This is quite simple stuff. I'm more just demonstrating this pack to you guys. Okay, so that's the red face mapped. Let's do the same again by just duplicating that. We'll drag it over and hold shift to snap and then call it green. And then we'll go into the output 
and we'll map this one so as you can see I J K L so we'll go to the edit points and we'll go uh, K goes down here uh, I goes over here Boop. Uh, L goes down there uh, this is just too goddamn easy. Now there's a lot of there's a lot of theory actually that goes behind this that I'm not delving into, but that's because that really isn't what this tutorial is about. And if you want to learn it, look into theory of projection mapping and how it's it's basically mapping pixels from A to B, but all the all the working out in between actually can get quite complicated when you start dealing with uh, project projection distances and the ratio uh, the ratio distance and size um, I'm not going to go into it for that reason because that's not what I'm doing so okay duplicate again this one go down Boop. blue okay so a b c d a b c d this one is really easy all I've got to do is just you know let's, let's, uh, oops. let's go up here a bit C down there somewhere D you know what this is being covered up so I'm just dragging it above the green so I can see what's going on um, <clears throat> there we go okay so that, this one should be going here lovely this one over here should be going there lovely and uh, this bottom ones obviously go here and here lovely and lovely nice so I guess you know what I'll do is I'll switch off the lights and let's look at some media on here and then we'll really quickly because it's gonna be easy now we will duplicate this mapping across the others and just tweak it a tiny bit so mapping cubes all right let me hit the lights and let's see what this baby's got auto exposure going on this there we go and uh, let's play some stuff so Ooh. nice yeah that looks pretty wow this is the first time I'm actually seeing it on a map surface and it looks cool cool as hell I'll do a little walk around with the camera in a second so you can see the uh, the sort of distortion I was telling you about when you when you move too far away from the correct angle it will start to warp. That's cool. Corner pin, sorry, corner peel. It's this one. So this, this is a nice slow subtle clip. So you know, it's not all uh, techno and discos. It's some of these are used for shop displays and whatnot. And there's also a really handy template file that uh, comes with this, where if you know a thing or two about After Effects, you can make your own clips, which I think is pretty unique uh, that's nice yeah I'm bigging myself up here just complimenting my own work but you know. okay uh, what about this one nice little wireframe so I'm just gonna roll through the clips because I have been asked a few times by some friends on uh, the VJ Union pages on Facebook which is a great place to chat and meet people if you do want to get into VJing and mapping um, I've been asked if by a few people just to demonstrate what this pack actually looks like, so that's what I'm doing. Nice. This is obviously inspired from the gimbal pack that I released on Resolume. Some of these are very simple, you know, but they, they work really well for mapping illusions like these ones. Just simple shapes with subtractive booleans or positive booleans or whatever. Uh, like these, these are uh, slightly more complex ones, like kind of glitchy, time remapped for music. Uh, same again, this one obviously inspired by the electric pack. Uh, this is created using uh, 3ds Max with sort of a plexus type look. Uh, the 3D vibe I'm, I was going on about, it really is prominent in these type of clips. A lot of clips I see are, what they are is they're rendered isometrically. Thank you, by the way, for uh, teaching me that word. You know who you are. Uh, they're rendered sort of flat. 
and then you take that flatness and you pin it to these 3D objects like I've done. What we're doing is we're taking a 3D render and we're flattening it and then we're putting it back onto 3D, which is slightly different. You get a lot more depth and illusion. Um, slightly more complex, but also a little bit limiting, as I've said. I don't, wanna, I don't want to give anyone any pretenses. This works from this angle and, you know, give or take a little bit. Don't, don't be looking at it side on because it won't look anywhere near as good as it's supposed to. Um, I'm just going to keep rolling through the clips. It's kind of like an infinite zoom type thing. Uh, Rubik's Cube, I mean, we've covered a lot of bases here. A lot of it's very, um, how do you say, very uh, popular trends of, of projection mapping styles that I see everywhere I go. So I'm like, you know what, if this is what people want, this is what they're going to get. This is a glitchy sort of... 3D glitch displacy type thing. I want, I, what I was trying to do was emulate, um, you know, like a digital ghosting, digi digital glitching that you see on television, which is obviously 2D, but I wanted to do a 3D version. Kinda got it. Kinda. Let's improve this in the next pack, I think. Smoke using uh, Phoenix FD. Boo! It's quite nice. Uh, Subtle gold cubes just emulating around. Transformer cube, I like this one, this is one of my faves. Disappears and comes back. Uh, this one, another Boolean styled one. What's this one? This is like another, another version of the uh, displacing type stuff. This is shiny one. It's like live Voronoi fragmentation. And this next one's a wee bit crazy. I like this one a lot. So that's that one. Uh, now what I'll do, I'll tell you what, while because I'm just jabbering on here, we'll put the template back on. I'll quickly map the other two cubes and then I'll take a little walk around and show you guys uh, where this effect is good and where it is limited in terms of distortion so we'll just take these three faces and we'll uh, you know what we'll zoom out a little bit just because it makes things a bit easier take these three and we'll duplicate them or we'll move them down here and we'll just nudge it into place just a little bit so So it matches our geometry. So obviously this warping that I'm doing now, this is like the compensation that we are adjusting. So the the original render pretty much matches the one here, the top one. Pretty much. Now now we're getting into the territory of stretching those pixels in a way they weren't really designed to do. So it's gonna uh, it's gonna slightly it's gonna slightly warp it, of course, but uh, that's kind of a given, which is why. I'm not too concerned. Uh, projection mapping, you're always going to have a lot of data of some sort because that's precisely what it is, stretching pixels onto places uh, where they're not supposed to be. Uh, okay, that's that one, and then duplicate again. So let's just, what was it, green to, to put these at the bottom, and then duplicate them again, and at the very top this time, and I'll move them across. Okay, and then we'll end it with points and just bring them back. You're so quick, so intuitive. Oh, lost signal. Is that me? Yeah, that's me. There we go, and we're back. We're online. Live and direct. So. And that is almost done. Very nearly. Alright, that is us, so 
let's save that. Uh, in fact, what we'll do, you know, so we've got three. So I'm going to set all these to come from layer one. And I'm going to set all these ones to come from layer two. This is just so we can play a different clip on each. I'm going to set all these to layer three. And then I'm going to save. And then I'm going to save the project. And then I'm going to play all the same clips at once quickly to demonstrate all of them playing on the same, uh, or, or all of the cubes playing the same thing. And then I'm going to play them in uh, different sequences so you can have a different um, clip on each cube. So here we go. Boop. So even a slightly different angle, I mean, it's looking good really, isn't it? It really is looking good. Now, if I go really far over here, start a little, a little bit of stretching here on that left cube, I mean, it's not really... Because all these clips are moving and they're very dynamic, you're not really picking up much going in there. Let me just sit this back down here. And just... Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to play something different on each cube. So let's go and change my media so it's playing next. <coughs> uh, or pilot, play next clip. Uh, boop, and then let's just play whatever we want. I mean, cool, right? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Kane, it's cool. Very cool, man. And that uh, that wraps up the demonstration video for this pack. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I certainly did, having an audience for my uh, craziness. Uh, thank you very much for showing interest in my work.